Okay guys, I bought this bike, it's a 1973 Honda CV350. I have done it up quite nicely, repainted it, done a lot of work to it, I just finished rebuilding, that's the new headlight I got on it, 55 halogen, uh, bike viz uh, LEDs which are pretty sweet, Kuryakin um, LED battery meter, I got it mounted right there so it shows I got my 12 volt, it's pretty sweet. There's the bike viz. And they just light, give me that visibility. But anyways, um, so I rebuilt the engine and um, got it back together. So I also decided to clean my carbs and I there's a few posts on AVD Rider. Um, same guys, or some guys have had it, same as me. All that gas there I had um, poured it in and it came out the overflow tube. So I've already taken apart and fixed the right side carb and I'm going to show you how to do that um, on this one. So I'm go basically you take, I I'm going to do it while the carb's in place. So th these four screws I'm going to take out. Those four screws, there's four screws. You take them out and then I'll show you after. I'm going to take another video after I get that off and then I'll show you all the little parts because it is ridiculously complicated, but at the same time, it's simple. So, here we go. Okay, so I got the screws off and I actually disconnected them. I'm just showing, for the video's sake, I'm showing how this works. So just slide out, and so, for anyone who doesn't understand, this is how it works. Basically, goes glass goes in here, fills up, and the float obviously floats. And when it gets to a certain level in the bowl, it raises and then shuts off the uh, gas flow into the float bowl. And then when it lowers, it lowers and then it keeps, so it keeps that proper level. That's how that works. And depending on which way you got your throttle, it picks up the slide here and then you have more air going through, as far as I understand. Um, your two If you can see those holes right here, that's your, that's where the jets go. So I'll show you after, but it's pretty quite, it's quite easy really to fix this. So what I did wrong, and what other people have done wrong, if you watch the posts, um, there's a little pin inside here that stops. If you can see inside there, I don't know if you can. Um, probably not. Uh, I'll show you after. I'll take it out and I'll show you. Okay, so this is the little pin that most people install wrong. And can you see how that pin kind of goes in and out? That's the part that needs to go down. I installed the point down. So of course it didn't, the boat, the float didn't close and kept allowing gas to come out. And then out the um, overflow tube. So again, so inside here, it goes up, the point goes up, and the little pin goes out. So if you're ever taking your carbs apart, don't lose this little part, so important. Now you can see the nice job I did with the Honda sticker and the white tank. Yes, well, I, I think it's pretty sweet considering it's my first time. And I got the nice handlebars on here. I gotta replace the, uh, the bar grab bars, but uh, anyways, okay. So I'll kind of get this back together and show you how that's done. Okay, actually. <laughs> One other little thing, so those right there are the jets, and they just literally fit into your um, into the bottom of the carb. And uh, I wonder if it will work on the video. Probably won't. Um, no. So you can see through there. It's amazing. You can. That's obviously the uh, main jet. I know. That was a smaller jet. What was it? But, uh, you can see through there. So you can actually, uh, yeah, that's the, uh, you can just slightly see through. That's the pilot. And this is the main, the main jet again. But anyways, um, these are the different parts of it that you take out. So again, there's the two jets. 
There's the pin. This is the pin that holds in the, the uh, float. And you can tell which way to put in your float because you'll see the part that is um, where the uh, it's less like this is a brass one, so you can tell that the, the, there's the line. You can see the old line. You can see so it goes like that, and the part that's been less oxidized or you know gasoline on it, that's the way it goes up. So you never install it wrong. And you can see um, that little part right there. Hold on. That little part in this, the square in the center is the part that holds up this little pin. So that little pin that I showed you, with the, uh, it sits right there and that's what closes it. And it's funny, that little millimeter there makes all the difference. It's weird. So crazy and simple. And to, to install this correctly, it, there, you'll see the big needle that sticks out of the carb which is, or sorry, my bad, on the float, float bowl, it goes, uh, you just, that big needle there, that's to a gun, and the, right here when you put that back in, the part with the, uh, I know, sorry, I'm holding the video, but that hole right there is for that, so you can't install this stuff wrong. It's impossible, well, I guess you could, but it's only meant to go one way, so don't force it. So I've got this ready to go back in, and this sits low, hangs like a low part, and holds the float. That these hold the floats in it up at the, right, at the lowest point. And I'm ready. so I'm going to stick this in there. If you're lucky, it'll sit like that. That's pretty sweet, eh? All right. Okay. So I've got it back in place now. Can you see that? That's how it holds that in there. And then, ah, oh, 